Okay, so uh, we're gonna add another thing to our HUD here, our canvas. Uh, we're going to add a speedometer so that we can tell a player just how fast they're moving. This is kind of useful if you like doing like speed runs or you wanna see how fast you can get to the end or how fast you might be able to move. Um, this is a pretty cool thing we can add. So in our canvas, we're going to open the canvas prefab by selecting the hierarchy and hitting open over here in the inspector. That will open the prefab editor for us. Then we're going to right click on canvas, go down to UI and select text, and we're gonna rename this object to speedometer. Then down here in this paragraph section, there's this stuff that says alignment. We wanna click the middle option, excuse me, for these two um, things here that's gonna center our, um, our text in the middle of the screen here. And actually, if we switch over to the game view, oh no, we won't be able to see that while we're doing the prefab editor, I'm pretty sure. Oh no, yeah, yeah we can. We, yeah, we'll, we'll switch the game view on. Um, and you can kind of barely see it, not really there. Um, we're gonna change new text to zero and then change the color to white, uh, just so it's a little bit easier to read. And then we wanna change horizontal overflow and vertical over, uh, overflow to over, the value of overflow and the font size to 72 from 14. No, not 723, just 72. Uh, there we go. And now you'll see in this game view, that's that's pretty significantly visible there. Uh, now in our rec transform component, we'll go up to where it says position Y. And if you hover your mouse over that, those two arrows appear. Um, that's actually true for any of these. Um, what that means is that when you click on that text that says pause Y, you'll edit that value by dragging your mouse to the left or right. Uh, and if you were to hit the edge of your screen, your mouse will loop. So that's a pretty cool little feature there. Um, but we want to drag this down. Um, and every time you drag it over and release your mouse, you'll see it update in the game view. Um, we want to drag it down pretty much to the bottom of the screen I think somewhere around 450 or 500 maybe yeah it looks like minus 500 somewhere around minus 500 is exactly where we want to be once you've got that uh, positioned appropriately we want to hit add component and go to new script and we are going to type um, speedometer here and uh, it's going to pop that script up. We do want to make sure when we're creating a script this way that we go to assets uh, because that's where that script is going to go by default. We're going to drag that into resources and then oops, drag go into uh, drag that into the scripts folder and then drag that script into the created folder as well. There we go. And now if we go into our, our created scripts folder, oops, uh, looks like it likes to click on things before that folder is actually open. Uh, we can select that speedometer thing here. Uh, now we need to go ahead and, or no, actually we can leave uh, start and update because we are going to be using them. We're going to say uh, rigid body player rigid and text. Oh, uh, we didn't get our text class here because we need to add an include at the top and include is basically a line of code that tells our script that, hey, we need to grab classes from a different part of Unity here. So we're going to say using unity engine dot UI and then we're going to say text. Now we'll see that text turns green there. Uh, we're going to say text, uh, speedometer, text. There we go. Uh, we're going to say player rigid is equal to game, or not game manager, game object dot find, and then open and close parentheses and quotation marks. And inside those quotation marks, we're going to say player. And then outside of the, the parentheses there, we'll say dot get component. And then in angled brackets, rigid body, and then add open and close parentheses at the end. And then we're going to say speedometer text is equal to just get component text, and then open and close parentheses because this script is on the same object as the text we're editing. We just have to use a regular get component. Uh, now all we have to do is say speedometer dot text or speedometer text dot text is equal to player rigid dot velocity, so that's the, the speed that they're moving, dot magnitude, which takes the vector three, because a, a vector three stores three numbers uh, that helps us determine the direction. We don't care about the direction for our speed, we just wanna know how big it is. And magnitude tells us how big that velocity vector is. And then uh, finally we say magnitude dot two string, because magnitude is of course a number, and a text component uh, will only take strings as a possible value um, for the UI. And strings are defined as uh, stuff between quotation marks. So like player here is a string. Um, and so this two dot two string method will convert that uh, that magnitude number to a string value. 
What we also want to do inside this quotation mark is add, or inside these parentheses, geez, parentheses, uh, is add two quotation marks, and then inside the quotation marks, type F1. That's going to format this magnitude value so that it's always got one decimal point, because if we, if we don't do that, then it's going to give us however many decimal point values that magnitude has, which can be a lot, uh, and that would look kind of ugly. Um, so we'll go ahead and save that script and go back to our editor. And if we back out of the prefab view by clicking on this back arrow here, we'll see that speedometer object is there and that speedometer script is uh, there as well. Uh, and if I were to hit play here and start running around, you'll now see that whenever I, uh, I move, we get that, that 14 uh, or 10 or whatever it happens to be uh, speed moving for us. So. Uh, yeah, now we can get an idea of how fast we're actually moving, um, and that does include the speed when we're grappling, which is pretty nice. Um, so yeah, once you've got all that, you can go ahead and save your scene.